Hey there, welcome to today's video where I'm going to show you how to go about adding a button to your Flutter app that will open a URL that will in turn take you to the device's browser, whatever that may be, and so take you to the website that you want it to go. The first thing you're going to need to do is come over here to the pubspec.yaml file, scroll a little bit to the dependencies, then you come over here to this website, pub.dev. I will leave the link in the description. But the only thing you really need is to come over here to the installing and just grab this over here. And you don't even have to come to this page, you can literally just copy this. What matters is that you come over here to the postback.yaml file and over here in the dependencies, I'm going to put it beneath the Cupertino icons. I'm just going to paste it and I'm going to do pub get. And apparently I need to increase this over here to make sure this works. So let's just go for it. And right now, it's telling me my Dart SDK version is too old or whatever, so I'm just going to go ahead and use a former version of the URL launcher. But this is just because it's the quickest fix, so make sure you have everything up to date, and I'm sure everything will work out just fine for you. There you go, now it was successful, so we have the URL launcher package installed in our app, and we can get straight to it. So what we're going to do is create a method. I'm going to call it launch URL. And I'm going to give it a argument, which will be a, a type string. And okay, this is pretty much the bones of the method right here. First thing I'm going to do is type in async because this, this is going to be a method that works with futures. And now we go inside the body of the function and type in if await can launch. And as you can see, this is something that already exists. So this is part of the package. And in here, we use this URL right here. That's what we're using. And then you do the conclusion if this is true. So once again, you do a wait. And this time what you want to use is called launch URL. Once again, it's the URL we used over here, which is also this. And of course we do the little thing at the end as usual. So this is pretty much all you need to do, but in a perfect world, this would always work. However, programming is always perfect. So we need to do else just in case there is an error of some sort. So we just throw could not launch and we just use the URL variable once again and close it like this. And this is pretty much it. This is all you need right here. Now all we need to do is go over to the on pressed of, th of this button right here. And I'm going to first do create a new variable called URL again. And it's just going to be, I'm going to use the YouTube website, but it doesn't really matter which website it is. And then you pretty much just grab the name right here from the method we created, launch URL. And in here, of course, we use this URL right here. And I'm just copying it just to make it obvious that that's the one we're grabbing. Just in case a brand new Flutter beginner is watching this, I don't want to confuse you, of course. And now that this is all set up, I'm going to restart the app. And apparently I have some no safety issues. So I'm just going to go ahead and update the SDK and stuff like that just to kind of get past all this. Turns out I just had to do a little bit of a flutter upgrade command. And finally, we have a successful get pub with the updated URL launcher. So now this should all work. And I just realized I made a huge mistake. As you can see, this is called launch URL and this is not launch URL. Okay. I, I was just in autopilot. It's just launch and then this URL variable. So my bad on that one, my apologies for that. So sorry about that. But yeah, you do open website and boom. In this case, we're actually even going to the mobile app, which is pretty great when you think about it. Uh, but let's, let's do, you know, a different website. Let's just do yahoo.com or whatever and restart it. Uh, and I forgot to put the S here. Now, if I open it, it's going to open the Chrome thing. Of course, I accept whatever. No, thanks. Let's just go to the website, please. And boom, there you go. It works. Now, something worth mentioning is that, you know, this is the website, right? But let's go back to the app. And over here in the launch method, not the launch URL method, again, again, sorry about that. You go for force web view and you make it true. And let me just restart this really quick. And then if I click here now, 
here we are. Except if I do this, you will see we're inside our own app instead of using the browser. Okay, so that's pretty much how you go about opening a URL in your own app and also opening a URL using a different browser. Once again, I'm so sorry about this mistake. Please don't make that mistake as well. The main method here is launch. That's just the name of it, nothing else. Hopefully that didn't throw you off too much. This is the final code. And then of course you just have to pretty much use the method that we created over here on the unpressed. And that's about it for today. I hope this video was able to help you. If it did, please leave me a like and subscribe if you want to keep on learning more and more about Flutter. Thank you so much for watching. This is Flutter Mentor and out. Thank you.